Hey guys, it's JT. Uh, just wanted to do a quick, uh, real quick, real down and dirty, <laughs> fast uh, tutorial on designing an overlay for Breeze in Photoshop. This is a very, very, uh, as I said, very fast, very, you know, simple uh, overlay tutorial. There's nothing special here. Um, just want to show this to people that aren't familiar with Photoshop. Um, and if they, uh, if they want to pick up Photoshop or if they can pick it up somewhere cheap or whatever and want to use it for doing overlays and some other things, uh, it's a fantastic program for doing any kind, any type of uh, graphic design or photo manipulation or uh, any kind of creative stuff. But um, what I've done here is I've got a 4x6 uh, layout here. I think it's at like 250 DPI. Um, and what I've done is I've uh, went out to, I think, to Google or something and found this ornate looking frame. This is just a low res frame just again for the tutorial purpose um, and I'm going to paste that in there um, and I've obviously cut the middle out and cut you know around the frame and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one large one here and then we'll do three smaller ones at the bottom uh, for a four photo overlay um, and then what we'll do is we'll copy this frame again and paste it uh, what I've done is copied and pasted it in, in the bottom here and I've resized it to uh, to this size and then I copied and pasted it again and again, copied and pasted over to this point. So now I've got the three in the bottom, the one larger one at the top. And then uh, I've created some text and another layer just as a, uh, you know, David and Dawn, whatever, some date for 2013. So we've got our layout basically done. Um, and what you can do now, there's several ways of doing this. I, again, um, there's, you know, Scott or some of the other guys in the forum might uh, you know, might disagree or might say, oh, there's a different way to do it. But this is, you know, just one way that I've, um, I've done them and, and I, you know, I, I can do them, you know, three or four different ways. But anyway, um, when you get to this point, what you're going to want to do is, uh, you're going to want to cut your background out. So what I'll do is go onto this first frame and just go a little bit outside the opening in the frame and just draw a box here and cut the background out and do the same thing on the other ones here. And I'm just cutting this background area out so our images will show through our overlay. And when you get that done, that's it. That's your overlay for Breeze. Um, and where the slice tool comes in is in the next step. Basically, you choose your slice tool, which is in the crop and other tools here on the left. And what I do is go a little bit beyond the opening and just click and drag and draw your box and then you'll get this um, kind of a grid looking thing here if you right click and say edit slice options those are your four numbers for breeze right there 105 101 46 331 those are your numbers for breeze that you're going to want to put in for the um, custom layout settings and when you go to the uh, the next image down here again i'll go just outside the opening click and drag right click edit slice options Again, there's your, there's your numbers there for Breeze. Uh, go to the next image, do the same thing. Right click, edit slice options. There's your numbers for that one. And then the last one, we'll go here. Right click, and there's your numbers for the last one. Once you get those numbers uh, into, um, into Breeze, and you put this layout in, um, use this as your overlay in Breeze, your images will fit perfectly in those boxes, all four of your images. And again, you can design these however you want. Um, you know, there's, there's obviously you can go crazy on designing, but this is just a real simple uh, tutorial just to show you guys um, how to do overlays in Photoshop. So hopefully this helped a few people and um, explained a little bit about uh, how overlays are, are done in Photoshop. I'm fighting a pretty wicked cold right now so my voice is kind of scratchy obviously but um, hopefully this helped uh, a few people out and uh, I'll see you guys on the forum take care